This is a sweet speaks. We have to talk about fake news. Recently, uh, the French president uh, Macron proposed uh, uh, anti fake news election laws. Uh, the reason for this proposal, according to Macron, is that uh, Russian trolls had intervened in the French election. Uh, and uh, well, that's what he says. Uh, so he wants laws to stop fake news. And uh, in Norway, where I happen to live, uh, Philip Rygg, who uh, works for something called, uh, well, a, for, uh, a think, think tank called the Skaperkraft, which means something like uh, creation force or force of creation. It is supposedly a Christian think, think tank, uh, but I have a hard time considering them Christians. Most of all, I just consider them leftists who like to, to add a little Christianity to the leftism. But I digress. The thing is, Philippe Rugg is sharing the French, uh, the French president's proposed uh, law. And uh, Philippe Rugg wants uh, fake news to be punished. He says that you should be able to punish fake news. Uh, and, and this Rugg, this guy, he thinks that uh, we can keep freedom of speech. And it will be better if you punish fake news. Uh, and he also goes on to talk about, uh, for instance, he claims that uh, the EU observer showed before the summer uh, over 2,900 examples of Russian fake news. Uh, and we all know the stories. They claim that the Russians intervened to have Donald Trump elected, and they claim that the Russians intervened to have Le Pen elected, and so on. Maybe they did, I don't know. But there are two things to be said about this. Number one. Julian Assange recently stated uh, at a conference that uh, Facebook and Google intervened to stop people like Trump and Le Pen from being elected. Isn't this a problem? And uh, I mean, seriously, what about freedom of speech here? Who is going to decide which news are fake and which news are not fake? Do you think there will be an objective standard? Well, if, if you actually could have an objective standard that would be enforced without any corruption, in theory, this sounds like a good thing, doesn't it? But we know that this isn't possible in the human reality. This is only possible in a, in a utopia. And man, man cannot make utopia. Only God can do that. So, the only thing to protect open elections has to be freedom of speech. What Macron is opening up for, and what uh, Philip Rugg from this uh, think tank uh, supports, is giving government, giving authorities, whether they want to give this power to the Norwegian government, to the French government, to the EU, to the UN, who knows, it doesn't matter. Even if they would give this to a private corporation, it does not matter. The thing is, this power will be abused. And by the way, it would certainly be used to stop people like me. They would call my channel fake news and they would go after me. And this is why I say that Western Europe needs a First Amendment. But even though there is no First Amendment in as far as I know, any Western European countries, I could be wrong, there might be one or two countries that actually has this, I don't know. I know there is something similar in Sweden, but yeah, it could be debated how much they follow that by now. But it doesn't matter. Because the Western European countries, as far as I know, they have all signed the UN Declaration of Human Rights. And in that declaration, the right to free speech is stated. And okay, I'm not a supporter of the entire declaration. I'm a supporter of the first part, the part of the negative rights. I'm not a supporter of the second part, which was imposed by the Soviet Union and all the positive rights. The rights to get stuff for free. But, I digress, it doesn't matter. The thing is, Norway signed this, France signed this, Sweden signed this. They should live up to it. And uh, I am really worried about this. Because what we are seeing 
This war on fake news is really a war on free speech. Sure there are things, sure there, there will be things that are fake news. Of course there will be, will be things that are not true in the media. But you have to let people make their own judgments. You have to let people read and check the news, check the facts, check the sources. There's no other way. Because the alternative is dictatorship. The alternative is, is government censorship. And uh, I could get into the hate speech laws too. Uh, I might not. The, I could mention a little of it. You have uh, Sebastian Tünken in Finland who was recently called up by the police that he has to talk to them again because something he wrote on Facebook. You have Jada Fransen who is going to stand trial in Belfast or maybe she did recently. You have all these things. They are related to this. We have to have free speech. Otherwise we don't have anything at all. Without free speech, we are not West. We are, we are not the West. That's one of the good things about Western civilization, that we actually have the concept of free speech. Well, at least we used to have that. I don't know what's going to happen now, but this has to be fought. And that's really all I have to say about this right now. I would like to thank all the people who have supported this channel and who are supporting my work in general. And if you like what I do. Well, please send me a dollar or two, or ten. That's always greatly appreciated. Uh, so, until next time, have a nice day, and God bless.